Good evening. Thank you. All right. Welcome to our fall concert. First time we've had a fall concert here in quite a while for the bands. Uh, first, of course, uh, please make sure we silence our cell phones. These kids have been working really hard this first nine weeks. So we want to make sure that we hear all of their wonderful sounds, not your wonderful sounds. So that'll be helpful for us. The first group up are just the cutest little adorable sixth grade band, aren't they? They love it when I say that. They're so cute. So. Normally in the fall, we just do a beginning band concert, and you get a chance just to see what the sixth graders have learned. So we're going to do that just uh, pretty much to start off the concert. So very first thing they're going to do is something that's not even in the program, just our daily warm-up is our five-note scale, because it took us a few weeks, but eventually we get to learn those first five notes. And so every day we play through them just to get used to doing that. So we're going to start with our five-note scale, and then right after that, we're going to play a song called Up and Down. This is number five, I think, in the and uh, it is the first time we got to play quarter notes and quarter rest together. So you'll get to see that. So we're gonna start with our five note scale to warm up and then up and down. So as you can see, um, that, that's the kind of stuff we're talking about. And we play that for 40 minutes a day, every day, until we can get all those notes and rest together. And then, on the second page in the book, we get to one that's called Rhythm Rendezvous, because it's full of quarter notes and quarter rests at different times. So usually we're just used to playing ta, 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 rest, 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 rest. Now this one's like ta, rest, ta, oh no, ta, oh. And so it took us like a week, but now, now they're great at this. So this is a really fun one for us. So this is Rhythm Rendezvous. This is the stuff you came for. Our next song, Hot Cross Buns. That's right, that's right. But not only that, because you paid the premium price of admission tonight, on top of that, we're gonna throw in a little, Mary had a little lamb.
right, so obviously those last two songs are much longer than the first two we played. And then we get to the point where now we're gonna play stuff that has no rests in it at all. And we get to learn this funny little thing called a breath mark. And now we have to go eight beats without breathing, which feels like eternity when you're in sixth grade trying to play this thing and make it like make the right sounds. So the next song, uh, yeah, Down by the Station is the next one that we'll learn. And this has breath marks in it. So that was the whole point of this one. Then typically, we, at the beginning band concert, we always have one song that's like, listen to our section. So each section gets to play by themselves. Um, and this is a fun exercise we do in class too. It helps us with music reading and other skills. Um, but So this one is lightly row, but we're gonna play it in sections. So each, each instrument's gonna get two measures by themselves. So we're gonna start up front with the flute and work our way back to the percussion, and then, uh, and then everybody gets to play at the end. So this is lightly row. And then um, one of our favorite songs right now, so our, our, the book one is made up into opuses. They're like chapters, but it's a music book, so they use a fancy term. And so the, these last three songs are all at the end of it. It's in the performance part of it. So we just started opus two last week, and we're excited to do that. But this is one of the very last songs that we did. And so we're going to finish this part of the concert for the sixth grade band with... Yeah, that's it. Go tell Aunt Rody. See, I know them. They're all up there somewhere. Go tell Aunt Rody. And then we have a few transitions tonight, and our students will do this extremely quietly because they're very good at that. We've practiced the last two days. So the next band up is the seventh and eighth grade band. So the seventh and, um, seventh and eighth grade bands meet separately during the day, but we um, but we're combining them for this concert, and we'll probably continue to do that this year. Uh, it's going really well so far. Um, so they're. Their first song that we're gonna play is called Huckleberry Hedgehog. This is a song I pulled out like, oh my gosh, probably eight years ago I bought this song. And I just love the title, because like who doesn't love hedgehogs and a huckleberry hedgehog, like why not? And so this is a really fun song and I thought, oh, the fall concert would be a great place to do a fun little song like that. So this is Huckleberry Hedgehog. 
You'll notice that some of the cool things in this, there, there is a term in this music that's all around it, so we just learned it together. Um, it's called sforzando, because everything in music is Italian, so why not? And it means with force, or with a sudden strong attack. So there's lots of times where it sounds like the hedgehog might be rolling around or something. I don't know. It's just fun. So this is Huckleberry Hedgehog. song we're gonna do again this is the fall concert so I kept trying to think everyone's like spooky season you know spooky scary skeletons all that like sure that's good fun stuff but what about just the good old pumpkin spice going out on a hayride having a good yee-haw hayride why not right so this next song is all of those things and I just I love it it's called hoedown hayride so think about hanging out, like not on a night when it's 95 degrees out, but like tomorrow and Saturday when it's in the 60s and 70s, just chilling in your pole barn, got some friends over, have a hayride, and yeehaw, have fun. So this is Ho Down Hayride.
not just a good old hoop hollering good time. I mean, come on, just good fun. That, of course, featured three soloists at the end, Abby Siegel on trumpet, uh, Jax Fisher on saxophone, I think, right? And, of course, the big old tuba back there, because you gotta, can't have a hoedown without a tuba, Harry Fuller. That's right. Okay, so, of course, I have to give in a little bit of the spooky season, and, like, tomorrow's first day of fall, so welcome to spooky. So we're going to finish the 7th and 8th grade band with Ghosts, Goblins, and Witches, which is a really fun. It's a spooktacular suite. It's actually in the title. I just didn't put it on the program because it took up too much words. So you can see there's three movements to this. So the first is a ghostly procession. So you're going to hear the ghost clanking through, coming into town. And then the second one is dancing with the goblins. And the last one is Witch's Brew, which is really fun. So they're all very much different. I did forget to mention, you might have noticed some percussion instruments back there. The, another nice thing about the kind of music we're playing tonight is there's all kinds of percussion instruments. Literally, anything can be a percussion instrument. If you hit it to make music, then it's a percussion instrument. So you might have noticed uh, Ruthie McElwain back there playing on some pots and pans. song, you're going to hear some chains, so like a ghost is coming into town, like I said. Um, you're also going to hear that vibra slap, which is the really oh, sound, which is really fun. And then a flexitone as well later on. So in this suite, so one of the things that we always like that, you know, we try to learn when we do a suite, there's not much um, changing in between the songs, just enough for the percussion to change. And so there's no clapping or anything in between. I'll stay up and my arms will stay up as well. And we'll do all three movements. So this is Ghost Goblins and Witches, a spectacular suite.
All right, we're gonna transition to the high school concert band here as they come up and get ready. I do want to mention a few things. So first of all, um, we still have a little bit left of our marching band season. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, our Christmas concert coming up, make sure that if you don't know about our band website, you can find all of our information, like the Christmas concert, on that. That is TritonCentralBands.com, which is nice and easy to remember. And there's a calendar function on there, a Google calendar you can add to your phone or anything else. And so it's a lot, it, it's really easy to add that to your personal devices. So I would strongly suggest that. We also have a group of parents, boosters, that are really supportive of our program. Um, we are doing much better now financially because of those hardworking parents, and so I really want to focus on that as well. All of you should be getting weekly emails from the boosters talking about concessions. We run concessions events um, at every event here at the high school, even middle school events like the middle school football games and stuff. The, the band runs concessions for those. So all football games, soccer games, uh, volleyball, basketball coming up, all of those events. So if you are able to help out with those, we'd greatly appreciate that. Right now we have a group of like four parents that kind of run all of those, and they'd like to have a break sometimes too. So like we have a soccer game tonight, we have a volleyball game this week as well, so if you're ever able to help out, please respond to those emails. Even if it's just, oh, I can only be there like at seven and help out for an hour, they would they'd greatly appreciate that. Sounds quiet on the stage, so they must be ready. So the first thing they're gonna do is tune real quick. We've been working a lot this year on um, building up our listening skills and tuning skills, so they're gonna do that. And then we're gonna play our first song, which is called Tunes That Go Bump in the Night. Kind of sticking with the scary stuff. intentionally, if you, if you really look at the program, you'll notice both the high school songs are written by the same guy, 
And it was not intended at all. Usually I purposely try to make sure that doesn't happen, but oh well. That song was really fun. So hopefully, yes, uh, by the way, that goat scream in the middle was Mr. David Powers. So. But it's a really fun song. It has some great classical music, and then, you know, just with a fun twist. So this next song, that, that was an arrangement. This one is a, an original composition by the same guy, Mark Williams. It's called Primordium. It just sounds like it would fit the season, so we're doing it. Why not? So this is Primordium. We have one more final transition here. Uh, some of these guys are gonna leave the stage and then we're gonna get ready for marching band. So we're not dressed up in our marching band clothes and stuff, but I did wanna feature them as since we're doing a fall concert, this is the fall season. So that's the marching band season for us. So we're gonna, we're gonna give you a little sneak peek of our next football show. We're doing things a little differently this year. So we're playing a different show for almost every football game. The last two football games though, because they're just one week apart, we're playing the same show for that one. Um, and so, this is one of the first songs I picked out for this marching season because um, Backstreet Boys are back, all right. So uh, we had to do some of that. So it's a lot of fun. So they're gonna get set up back here. And, uh, Emma is one of our drum majors this year, so she's gonna be conducting them, not me. So just a little bit about the marching band, of course. Uh, they are still killing it this year, doing really well. They went to ISMA and back in August now, and they got a gold rating there for like the billionth year in a row, which is awesome. Um, and then we have another ISMA con contest coming up in about a week and a half that we're getting ready for as well. And we're gonna play this song for that. So we performed this song for the first time last week for elementary schoolers. Who knew, who knew that they also love the Backstreet Boys? They were just singing along, it was great. It was fun. So uh, the guard is some, hey, there they are. The guard is gonna do some of the Backstreet Boy dance for this one, cause it's a lot of fun. So not a flag. <laughs> and then, then she'll use the flag on the next one. But this is, I want it that way.
then the other song that we've been working on all season, that one we just uh, started like two weeks ago, um, but one that we do for our parades and then also um, when we go out to the stadium for all the football games is this last one, which is Everybody Have Fun Tonight, which of course is what I hope for all of you this evening. I hope that you had fun and you continue to have fun and watch out for the heat, but fall is here. And I'm so excited. I hope you are too. Thanks for coming out to the concert tonight. I hope you really enjoyed it. And we're going to finish with Everybody Have Fun Tonight. Yeah, thanks for coming out tonight. The students do need to make sure they grab their instruments, please, and take them home, and then bring them back tomorrow. Thanks, have a great night.